Good afternoon. I'm standing here on the Lewis Road in on the eastern outskirts of Haywards Heath and we're here to look at Pine Lodge which is this beautiful old Victorian villa. It's actually an attached house um, and as you and what you see is what you buy but the rest of the house is actually situated to the rear which was a very very large house some years ago. So uh, the Lewis Road is actually part of a conservation area. Apologies about the hedge trimmers along the road you can hear um, but if I uh, and we're on the eastern outskirts of town so we're quite close to everything uh, yet far enough out of town not to be too built up. Now if I look to my east, that in that direction is uh, towards Skeynes Hill and Upfield and is the shortcut round to Lindfield Village. And if I look back to my west, that's looking back towards Hayward Heath Town. Uh, the hospital is just up there. And literally where that van is now in front of us, there's a footpath there which uh, cuts across the road. So if you want to go for a walk with a dog, if you turn left there, you can walk out through the Abbots Lee Estate. Um, beautiful walks there over to Slugwash Lane and walk the back way to Skeynes Hill or Wivelsfield. But actually there's a footpath on the right there, which uh, actually takes you through to um, the, the housing estate behind here where you've got Northlands Wood Primary School. So anyway, do come in, let's have a look. If I just look at the house from this, I'm standing on the east side. So as you can see, we've got the driveway and the high gates, plenty of parking in the garage. But if we stand here, I am literally where we're standing now looking at the house. That is the boundary, so that black drain pipe Everything to the left is you, the house to the right is the neighbour. So they do look this way, but they are, their gardens are the other side and their driveway is the other side. So no one comes around here. So you've got this fabulous big side plot. There's a bit of room beyond these beautiful trees here. So you can see through there. So you've got a bit of room to extend this house. It's not a listed house, even though it's a beautiful old house. Um, but one thing I have mentioned to the owners, they're not too worried about pursuing it, is this is a potential building plot. Um, sorry to say it, but unfortunately, if you looked along the Lewis Road and many of these roads in Hayward Heath, this is a fabulous big building plot. If you did do that, Pine Lodge would still have a bit of garden the other side as well. Um, but lovely big garden. From the outside of the house to this fence, I think was uh, on the details you got the measurements, but it was over 100 feet and it's 84 feet front to back. So you could have a big house here, maybe even a pair of semi-detached houses if you really wanted to try it as a development project. But the one thing that everyone wants in this, this day and age is a garden room, and they've got one. Look at that, unfortunately, I don't think it's, no, it's actually closed at the moment, but it's locked. But um, have a look in there. So it's a great room. If you want it as a home office or a gym or whatever you wish, a really good, good thing to have in the garden. And this terrace here, this is taking full advantage. We're south face looking south here, and obviously west that way. So this is your more morning, day and evening sun trap. So a great bit of space. Um, there is a bit of garden on the other side. I'll, I'll show you out the window when we get it around that side. But, uh, but lovely big garden, fabulous big garden. Um, a beautiful house, lots and lots of character. Uh, I mentioned earlier you can walk around to Northlands Wood Primary School. Um, there's also a very good primary school in Skeynes Hill, or the two in Linfield. And children from this side of town generally go to Warden Park Secondary, um, sorry, Oak Hall Community College down in Linfield, which has got a farm. But anyway, now this is really the back door, but the owners tend to use this as this is by the driveway. The front door is on the other side, but they, they never tend to use that. So we're bringing you in this way and into the kitchen really, initially. So a lovely kitchen. These guys have been here since about 2007. They've done quite a lot to it, including the kitchen and the bathrooms. Um, but a nice character kitchen, all hand painted in this nice pale blue. Got a range cooker there, a big window back to the road there. There is a bus service running along the Lewis Road. So if you want to get down to the station, the station's probably about two, two and a half miles away, uh, you can do. And uh, the accommodation in Pine Lodge spans four floors, including a cellar. So in fact, what we do, let's go downstairs into the cellar first and then we'll come back up. So this, unlike most cellars, is a very usable space. This is actually converted into a couple of very useful rooms. So. Under the stairs, you've very much got a little utility cupboard there or utility area. I'm guessing that's all plumbing for washing machine and stuff. And then look at this fabulous recreation room, be it the kids' playroom, gym, whatever you want to do. They've got one of these projectors on the wall. That's not included, by the way, but what a great big room. Like I say, children, children would love this. And something else, despite the bookcase, you've got loads of cupboards behind here as well. So loads of storage. But what a great big room. I mean, that is really your third reception area, really. But like I say, whether it's a children's room, 
fantastic gymnasium in my opinion but uh but again another place to work from home if you want to lots of people need this extra workspace that's if you're not going to use the garden room and then the downstairs cloakroom lovely room you've got this old sandstone floor in here and they've put an extra shower because they've only got the one bathroom upstairs uh, in here so big downstairs loo all been done with these old sort of character edwardian style suites you've probably seen you've got this lovely paneling on the side of the stairs some original panel doors dining room here it's a lovely character room as well i don't know if you've seen but we've got these really wide floorboards so i mean this house is going to generally appeal to someone who loves this old victorian era we don't know specifically when the house dates from but we think it's about 1880 there's a few of these lovely big villas on the, the Lewis Road as well. Open fireplace in here as well. I assume it works, but uh, you need to check with the owners on that one. But a lovely room. And look at these big, beautiful big doors. And then my favourite room is this living room. Look at this. Beautiful character room. And look at this archway. Lots and lots of charm. And this would have been, this is where the old front door is. So if you imagine you would have come in the front door, this would have been the hallway with a sitting room on the front. But obviously when this was divided into a pair of properties many years ago, this was obviously divided and thankfully it was divided very sympathetically. But lovely living room, another original, well, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I think it is an original, but it looks like partly an Adam style uh, fireplace there with an open grate. And you've got these very pretty windows either side. Looking down to that little bit of side garden, a little bit of garden out there, and there's your front door. So that's the ground floor. So remember that big kitchen, big lounge, lovely dining room, and the downstairs cloakroom, and then come upstairs. So this is looking back east over the side garden, the big garden area, and then the family bathroom. All nicely panelled out. This looks like some of the old original panelling in here. If it's not, it's certainly been done very nicely. So big bath, shower area there. And then we've got three bedrooms on this level. One big bedroom here. Nice room, plenty of wardrobes either side of the bed. And they've got secondary glazing. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm not, uh, the windows are obviously closed and the secondary glazing, but this is really thick double glazed secondary glazing. So these cars are going by, we're right on the Lewis Road. We're not trying to hide the fact the Lewis Road is the A272. It'd be nice if a car went past fairly fast. Well, there you go, you don't even hear them. That's great. But hence the price, you know, if this was down a country lane somewhere, you wouldn't be paying this sort of money for it. It'd be a lot more money than this. You can imagine a character house like this in somewhere like Linfield or Cookfield or even near a Hayward Heath station. You know, you'd be paying nearer a million pounds for a house like this. Second bedroom there, very big. Someone's got her uh, bunk beds in here. And again, same secondary double glazing here. One thing I didn't uh, dwell on, sorry, when we were looking out the front, you've got that lovely big veranda along the front. Really gives it a lovely character look. Sorry, I'm definitely saying lovely in character too much, aren't I? But this house is lovely in character. And then that's the small bedroom. So again, got a double bed in here. Great big window to the side, again with secondary glazing. Not the same secondary glazing, I don't think, as the uh, the front rooms, but but good size. And then up on the top floor, you've got this very clever space saver staircase. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but you've got to get your feet the right way round. And this comes up to the top floor. We've got another great big bedroom here. So this has got to, I'll open that window actually so you can get an idea that's looking west that big tree is actually in your garden um, so if you wanted to lose that you certainly could and here look at this great big bedroom up in the attic there's no bathroom up here but there certainly is a bit of potential to do it but lovely big bedroom bit of children's bedroom well this could be the main bedroom quite easy and you've got these little conservation area roof light windows in both sides so there you go that gives you a pretty good idea of Pine Lodge, number 41 Lewis Road. Just to confirm, it's an attached Victorian character house, a big side garden with potential to maybe build a house or build a bigger garage or garden rooms if you wanted to. You can walk literally round to Northlandswood Primary School through a little alleyway in about 15 minutes. 
you've got a bus service. If you walk down the Lewis Road to the, to the east, uh, the next road on your left is called uh, Lyoth Lane or Snowdrop Lane, where you've got a lovely pub called the Snowdrop Inn. And again, that, that's a nice walk down into Linfield Village from there. So great spot. I hope you like what you see. Do come and have a look.